Before anyone even asks, yeah, I got a haircut. Does it make my head look like a penis? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little context to this one. This is our squat training, um, the first week of a mini peak cycle. This was uh, five by fives for squat. Uh, the goal is to just basically go as heavy as you can for your five by fives, leading to basically a max out. Um, I would like to point out that the camera work is still a little sketchy in this. I'm in the process of getting a better camera and a tripod right now. This is, this is all being filmed on a Samsung uh, Galaxy S6. So this is just um, the first week of a short peak cycle. After that, um, we'll take about a couple of weeks off after this next month, and then we'll get into actual uh, meat preparation for July. So without further ado, enjoy the footage. All right, so five by fives. Well, while we're going through these first working sets, I'd just like to explain what we're doing for the mini peak here. It's a really um, speedy peaking program just for Josh. I wanted Josh to experience what it was like to start pe a peak for a meet. <clears throat> so basically all we're doing is the first week, it's a five by five for bench squat and deadlift. And I won't, I'll um, talk about the assistance and secondary barbell movements in a later video. So this week is all five by five, so squat, bench, deadlift. Next week will be five by threes. The week after that, three, uh, th uh, five by two. And then three by ones, basically leading up to a max that weekend. So this is still um, first set here for Josh. For my first set was 365. Josh's was 405. My second set is here at 385 for five. I started wrapping after the first set, getting up there towards 90% uh, uh, max for five reps. And this felt pretty darn good. Right there, you can see the spar speed was pretty good. Hey, it's Kendall Schwan. How you doing, buddy? I'll give you a shout out. Don't even worry about it, you shy. F all right, Josh's uh, second set, I want to say, at 455. And again, uh, his bar speed's pretty good. He, if you notice, you can, it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but he's uh, he's a high bar squatter. He's been high bar his whole life. He's always been a mammoth of a squatter. In high school, I think he still has the old squat record of about 575. Uh, this will be my top set at 415 for five, which is a PR by about 10 pounds. In the last cycle, my PR here was about 405. So you can see where he's starting to become a grinder at about that rep, but um, overall I was pretty um, happy with the speed there and definitely had maybe had a little more on the tank, you can see there, but it was definitely a good set. Here's Josh's top set at I believe 515. Notice the sensual camera angle there, you can see the hips moving in synchronization. The synergy is overwhelming here folks. Anyway, but here's there's a good a angle on Josh's high bar squat. You can see where it's up there, on, more on the traps. Whereas when you see my squat, you can see it clearly on the rear delts, more on my back. Got more of a forward lean. Josh is wearing some shitty shoes, but they do have an elevated heel, which is necess sometimes necessary for high bar squatters with less than perfect uh, ankle flexibility. So here he is on his first back down set at 450. Man, that guy is getting after them calf raises over there. He's beating you out, Josh. What are you doing? So anyway, <laughs> Josh's first back down set at 455. I will mention that the back down sets that we've been doing t for this week on the 5x5s have been much harder than the top set. Just because after the top, the top set is meant to like, it's like right up there around a max maximal weight. So it's, it's really meant to beat you into the ground. My fourth set didn't get recorded. It was 405 for five, and this is my fifth set. My last set at 365 for five, wrapless. Again, here's a good uh, angle on the low bar. Um, I've always had pretty flexible shoulders, so I've always, I just kind of switched about a year ago and never looked back. Here's Josh's last set at 405. Again, he was really feeling it as well. After that top set and that uh, first back down set, he decided to go relatively light for him. So again, you can see kind of how these, well, okay, maybe not for him. He's pretty damn strong. Oh, what do we got here? 
That is some ass sweat if I've ever seen some ass sweat. I'm gonna have to talk to him about this. We need to get him some thicker pants, some butt deodorant, anything, cause that, we can't stand for that. That's too much. <laughs> All right, so uh, we skipped the secondary barbell movement cause we were just beat to shit after that. We did some hack squat, uh, like I think a set of quad extensions and we got the hell out. We were so burnt out from this. And, but we still definitely had the energy to swing by Poncheros and pick up a big greasy burrito. Cause there's always energy for that. I'm, an, I'm a double steak man myself. Josh is chicken, that's all right. I like red meat. But that is all from Jacob Clark Strong. May your shits be tapered and may your gains be loyal. See you all next time.